Hey everybody and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. How's everybody doing tonight? Big news in ATS front. 1.4 is out for general release. I thought, what the hey, let's jump in ATS and do some do some runs. Hey Golden Eye, what is up? I am indeed alive. A little a little late because I was checking out the graphics settings. Coming up to a bridge and things looked a little weird. I wanted to check my graphics settings. I turned everything up and uh, just got afterburner stats up. Just kind of keep an eye on it because we do have, of course, brand new lighting system in 1.4. And we know lighting can really play a taxing role on our GPUs. So yeah, I wanted to see how it looked. Let's see how it performed. Slow her down. Back her on down a little bit. You can see up there in the corner we're running 72 frames. We are running at 1440p and everything is maxed out. Let's take a look at that. Go here to options, graphics, graphenes, graphics, 1440, refresh rates 120. So we won't go over that. Um, but I've got scaling set to 400. Flexion scaling set to 200. Pretty much everything other than mirror distances is set on high or ultra. Just wanted to see how the new lighting would take this card with basically everything turned up at 1440 getting well over 60 fps which is cool back this down to 300 and just see what that does for us and have any time to dial in anything before the stream Did anything for us. If anything, it a little worse. There we go. She's getting a little better now. Me too. Yo, I am running, running some Kenworths in a Peterbilt. Fuel. It's springtime. I thought I'd put a nice summer summertime theme on here with the surfer dude. For two days, we're gonna be doing a bunch of ATS on those days off. Let's let's pretend we're actually gonna follow the rules. Come in through the. Uh, the right direction. So, I really like the lighting. I don't know if you can see, but there is a reflection on the canopy signage. 
See the reflection over here on the hearts on the building? So I move, you can kind of see the reflection there. Really like that. Uh, fire Frightened Farmer. This profile has zero mods. This is my multiplayer profile, so it is mod free. Everything you see here is base game. Base game and DLC only. Uh, Owen, this is PC only. Sorry there, bud. This is American Truck Simulator. It is PC only. Well, we won't tell the dealership about that back truck. All right, how about that? You don't say anything, I won't say anything. We're in Arizona on our way to California. California, here we come. Wish I could, uh, wish I could play me some, uh, Beach Boys. Got our surfer paint scheme. HDL Music, what's up? Jamel, Jamil, Jamal, and Jay, how you doing? Hey, what's up? Fired, what? Fired up for the stream? So for any of you ATS fans out there, I do have in the description link to the blog post goes over the changes for 1.40 well oh, thanks for the super chat there fire fighting farmer a fire fright fire frighting frightened farmer I don't know if stream labs is gonna Splash up my little walking zombie or not, but uh, even if he doesn't, thank you so much for that super chat there. There he is, there's my running zombie. Brains! Brains! So, yeah, this profile is my trucker's MP profile. profile. So it is 100% mod free. Everything you see is what you get as far as 1.40. Base game truck, got base game trailer. We're in Arizona at the moment. On our way to California, base game states. I'll tell you one thing I did not do is I did not have a chance to look on Steam and see if ATS happens to be on sale. ATS goes on sale so often that uh, if it's not on sale, I'd wait. Wait a couple weeks, it probably will be on sale. Alright, Owen. Thanks for dropping by. Sorry, bud. It's not on console. That is a very, very popular question every stream but yeah I'd say this uh, 
If everything turned up, getting well above 60 FPS at 1440. Now there was a time and day where I would be rocking a pretty, pretty high-end car at a 2080 Super, but and nowadays the 2080 Super is like mid-stack. Looking at the 3000 series cards. You're lucky enough to pick one up. Looking at the 6000 series cards if you're lucky to pick one up. I don't know, GoldenEye. I don't know. Very valid point. I was watching some videos of uh, a while back of some guys that were trying to basically figure out what kind of graphics card did you have to have on a PC to get next-gen graphics, next-gen console graphics. And I think it was like a 1660. I mean, for the package. Are amazing machines. Our oldest has been hinting that she wanted a a PS4 so she could play some games. I asked her what game she wanted to play. It was like Call of Duty or something. It wasn't anything that was that was PS or Sony specific. So I've thought about it a little bit about picking up an, a Series S, an Xbox Series S, just like what, two ninety nine or something, and then getting the um, getting the Game Pass with that. It's like, there you go. Go to town. You got this huge library of games to download and play. Be hooking it up to a 1080p TV or a 1080p monitor. So it's, she's not going to be trying to push. 4K with it or anything. Scooter's workbench, what is up? Welcome to the stream. Heading down the highway. Trucking Tuesday. Egg nabbit. I didn't even think about that for the thumbnail. Trucking Tuesday. Just chilling, checking out the finally released 1.40 update for ATS. Now includes the new lighting package. Gosh, we streamed that so long ago. Feel 
seemed like we streamed that like two months ago. Day it came out. In addition to the new lighting, we have all the new chassis. Hey, old Scout 1986, how you doing tonight? Yeah, the 1660 was on par with my 1080 Ti. I remember buying the 1080 Ti, and then like, I don't know, four months after that, 1660 came out, and folks were basically able to get the 1080 Ti performance at easily half the price back then things were affordable and you could actually buy them I'm, I'm really really happy that I decided to basically upgrade my system in December of 2019 because Man, if I had waited, oh, that would have been awful. I think back now, if I had waited until early 2020 just to wait. Hey, Carrie, what's up? I don't know when it was. I didn't go back and look. I just know I had to go scroll a fair bit ways back in my uh, in my live stream um, history to get to an ATS stream. Yeah, that's the six gig is getting long in the tooth though. I, but you're playing it. I guess you're playing at 1080. Uh, was it Harag? I don't know how to pronounce that. I do not. Oh, that there is a uh, detour. I do not play ATS or ETS. Do I don't have it. I just do I just do ATS Am I coming? There you can see my Peterbilt with the long chassis Thank you for that, old scout. I used to have a, well, I still have it. I used to be rocking a 1070 Ti. And I said I upgraded December of 2019 to a 2080 Super. Did pretty much a full system upgrade and then I honestly shelved it I shelved the old system until uh, ironically uh, December of 2020 and then I dug it out of storage dug the parts out of boxes and uh, put together a a work at home computer I was building out a new office for the house. So now the work at home computer is the old gaming system. Yeah, 
when the stock comes back. I think your best luck is to uh, is to go into what is it? New Egg. New Egg has that um, kind of raffle where they take everyone's name that's in the uh, back or down. Just fine. They take everyone's name and kind of put it into a a raffle and then draw out names. So kind of, I think they call it the New Egg Shuffle. And what it does is it, it kind of makes everyone on the list have an equal chance at getting the chance to purchase a card at MSRP. Now, of course, you, know, you might be in the list with 5,000 other people. And when they get 10 cards in, and 10 people off that list get their uh, get a message that basically says, hey, you have X time to buy your card. If not, you are uh, forfeit and you know, we draw the next person. Uh, Newegg is a good place. Just be sure you buy it from Newegg and not you know, some marketplace seller. Because Newegg is also a marketplace that other people can third party sell at Rasnak what is up how's it go on team green are you going to be streaming team green tonight am I going to kick it over to you from the highways and byways of American Truck Simulator It's just I had heard through some tech tech tubers that I watch. Uh, they call it the New Egg Shuffle. Oh my! What happened here? They call it the New Egg Shuffle, where where you can um, you can be put in on a list, you can be drawn for then an opportunity to buy a card at MSRP. Oh, did you? Did you buy all the even plots? Now it's time to spend your money. Spend your money wisely. Buy all the land. Farm the whole map. Well, Team Red hasn't already done that. Hey, I think when you see what Team Red's going to do, or has done, you're going to probably think we're crazy. And quite frankly, you are correct. Some of the people on Team Red are definitely crazy. And the entire team is going to pay for it. <laughs> uh, it's going to be... Let's just say I don't think I'm ever going to harvest potatoes again. Ever. I'm going to try to run up the coastal highway we drop our load off further do we have to go 247 miles to get there sometime to net in that to net show off the sunset and nighttime lighting Optimus what is up No complaints about taters, huh? Whoa! 
Trying to break check me? Trying to break check me? Get out of there. Kick a butt, taking names. Carrie, we didn't see anything happen. Yeah, let's let's do this. Let's let's pull a Razdik and drive from the top of the truck. Oh my, car fire. Car fire, watch out. Car just cut in front of me. Got this big load on three semis back there. I just can't stop on a dime. I don't know what these little four wheelers are thinking all the time, pulling out in front of us trucks. Got a lot of weight here. It takes a long time to slow down. Oh my. All right. Just run by. Bye. A rag. Is that right? Is that anywhere as close to being right? 84,000 pounds. Speaking of chicken coops, we got ourselves some chicken tonight from Bojangles. Who else has had Bojangles chicken? All right, ha rag. All right, we'll we'll try to do better. I can't, I can't guarantee I'm gonna remember. Got ourselves some Bo Jangles chicken tonight. It was the first time we had Bo Jangles. Not sure how much I am, uh, am keen on it myself. Uh, the wife did like the biscuits. I didn't have any honey to put on mine. I had, I had my biscuit kind of kind of plain. But I'm not really sure. It's a little salty. And to, to borrow some southern twang from my wife, it's a little spicy. She said it's a little spicy. Do you want a little ass with your spice? We got the we got the meal pack, which I thought was cool because it 
came with a half gallon of tea. We got the sweet tea. And, well, I have to say that I think they're running with a contest to see who has more sugar in their tea. Is it Bojangles or is it McDonald's? Because I tell you, if I had a hydrometer and put it in that tea, I don't know what the reading would be other than super sweet. Milo's? I don't know. What's a Milo's? I don't think I've ever heard of a Milo's. Just might have to cut. Might have to cut their sweet tea with some of mine. Make it a bit more palatable. Oh, okay. I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen it. Or if I have, I haven't noticed it enough to remember it. What time is it? Truck have a clock? Seven oh eight. Looks like the sun is going down. Get our lights on. Are, in my opinion, more realistic lights, which means that they are not very bright at all. Uh, SSRI. I I don't know. I like it. I like it. Of course, I like the lighting from the Beta 2. See your headlights. There's our headlights on. Off. Can you tell my brights are on or not? Oregon Machine Gaming, welcome to this channel. Welcome to chat. We're about to head into sundown. Doug Scott, we are not running mods. I am running my Trucker's MP profile, which is mod free. And the reason reason we're not running any mods is that well one with the change with the lighting and everything I suspect a fair number of those visual mods will need to be reworked to take into account new lighting Blair, uh, we did see some reflections off of a off of a marquee at a Hearts earlier. On 
to the sun so we'll have the sunset in our eyes here in a moment uh truckers mp does not work with 1.4 yet i was just saying i was running my truckers mp profile we're not actually in a truckers mp at the moment Thankfully, I'm not getting a nasty glare in my eyes. Going straight towards the sun there. Oh, I haven't made any changes. I did go in and crank my visual settings up. I don't know if they reset or if I just had them that way for some reason. But I did go and crank a lot of things back up as far as uh, scaling and such. Oh, the dash. Wow. Dash looks nice. Something else they changed was F4. So they apparently made this. That looks kind of the same. I guess they just changed this. Change log said they, they changed the F4 menu. We even have lights on our door buttons over there. Uh, Doug, this is a new chassis for the base game Peterbilt. Just a base game Peterbilt, but I do have the three rear axles. We've got the extended frame. Oh yeah, that does zoom again. There we go. Like that zoom button. They're running normal beams. Can't do much about that. Yeah, there is actually in the description I've got a a breakdown of of the changes as far as the different axles. I didn't even see it because I was expecting it to be white. We're just gonna auto park because I didn't even see it popping up there.
all those bonus monies. All right, I want to run up. Yakima, Washington. Oh. And are you telling me there's nothing that want to run up this? Oh, that's closer. That's closer. Fresno, no. All right, well, we'll just take this and run up that way. Is it Alejandro? Alejandro, is that what it is? I know that is a very popular comment on the streams. Uh, do I think my state will be an ATS within the next five years? No. I live on the East Coast, and you know, they've said Texas is Texas is after uh, was it Wyoming, and they mentioned the likelihood of Texas being very, very slim for this year, which makes it spring of 2022, right? And if they're they're only in Texas, uh, spring of 2022. Uh, the chance that they would make it to the East Coast by 2027 at their current rate of uh, development is a big negatory. I mean, you know, with the, with the method of gameplay, you're going to want continuous states. You're going to want states that you can drive through and not where you have to kind of jump, jump around the country because you don't have connecting states. Now... You know, what some wishful thinking is is that maybe they'll start bundling states. Because the closer you get to the east, the smaller the states get, typically. And at some point, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't see you putting out a a Louisiana. State DLC that's just Louisiana. Yeah, yeah. At some point the stream will catch up with you. Um, you know, so at some point... And, and also, to some degree, the uh, a lot of the Midwest states are, well, dare I say, boring. But Hotel California. Don't really want to say boring, but I mean they're.
So, you know, to some degree, like, like, could you have a North and South Dakota? That's, that's one. Could you have like a Indiana and and Ohio? Is is Ohio and Indiana? Do they connect? I mean, but you kind of get my point there. Could you maybe have a Midwest bundle where you bundle four or five Midwest states together? Rick, I uh, hope you're not sad because I called your state boring, but, uh, well. Never been there. Been to Colorado a little bit. Haven't been all over the state, but I have been to Colorado. Been to Texas. Texas opens up to some pretty flat roads that are just straight stretches. Ash, welcome to the stream. Yes, 1.4 is out. Came out earlier today. We are rocking the release branch of ATS now. We've got our high beams on. Got our low beams, high beams. I like the new lighting in 1.4. I know some people probably will not like the headlights because they're a lot dimmer. I kind of like that. Let's go find some place to sleep overnight. Continue the run. So yeah, the idea is hopefully when they get closer east and maybe start lumping more states per update. Or Howls, welcome to the stream. Glad you're enjoying ATS. Will this ever come to console? I honestly don't think so. Exit, yeah, exit Steam completely. Come back in. reason I don't think it's going to come to console is because it can be quite a a resource bear I mean we're rocking we're rocking a 2080 super here and we are running a 1440p so we're running a little higher resolution than, than maybe most folks we do have pretty much everything turned up, all the eye candy on, but still you can see there in the corner, we're running between 60 and uh, 90 frames. We're using nearly 14 gigs of memory that's just system memory I don't know how many I don't know how much memory card memory I'm using so I think like the series X has 16 gigs of total shared memory but just realistically I'm not sure
Yeah, Cash, I would set, suspect most of your mods probably won't work. With all of the extensive chassis changes, uh, the visual changes, the lighting system. I suspect it's going to take a little while for various mod authors to, uh, to update. Let's see, where do we have? Oh, we passed one. Pulling up there for uh, fuel and for our slip trigger. Alex, how you doing? up we might see the sunrise no no so we're we're actually running the profile I usually use for truckers MP which is mod free I wasn't about to fire up my Pony Express transport profile figured it, its mods would be uh, would be in conflict with the update I'll give it a couple weeks before I try external logbook if I'm understanding I don't know if the game has an internal logbook like if you're running a, a virtual trucking company your like or truck books then it should work Dennis, how you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. A little nighttime driving. Oh, I turned off. I turned off fatigue. So, driver fatigue. Turn that on and off. I turned it off. We're going to sleep up here when I get to the uh, rest stop. But uh, the, the constant yawning can get a little out of hand. Especially when you can't exactly just pull over and sleep.
yeah, you're driving down the road and then it kind of fades out. You wake up and you're like, whoa, where am I at? Yeah, I turned that off just because the yawning can get, get annoying. Especially since you can't just pull over and use your sleeper. I kind of wanted to see the truck come in and out of shadow here. Oh no! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Well, that load is completely light now. Completely light now. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's when you switch between this game and and some other games where like in farm sim enter is start your engine but in this game enter is sleep Oh, what's the patch for ETS? Arm low air pressure. All right, let's go. Get rocking and rolling. And you dump all your air. ETS it probably has the same lighting update.
probably had the same lighting update, right? Well, I guess we were so exhausted we had to sleep an entire day and a half away. But now the load is late. Brayden, what is up? Welcome to the stream. Timmy, that's going to be awful. I'd say if it's not on sale, wait. It should be on sale with the spring steam sale, whenever that is. Which is going to be coming up soon. Girl, it is spring. Yeah, Brayden, we were doing that. Paul, oh, welcome to the stream. How you doing tonight? Rocking some American Truck Simulator. Version 1.40. Uh, heavy front rim. They, they have added a a wide front rim that gives you the the off-road tires, the big knobbies. Oh, I'm doing good tonight. Glad to be on. American Truck Simulator, I have to tell you. The runner was getting a little uh, little monotonous. Glad to be at 97% on that, so I can get it to 100% and put it away for hopefully a little bit before Season 4 shows up. Okay, as soon as 1.4 is working on Truckers MP, doing some multiplayer convoys. Oh, you got a new PC. You got, oh, a G29 wheel. You are all ready to go with some truckers MP or some uh, ATS. Sorry. for these windy roads to finish so I can take a look back at chat. A little reprieve. Uh, I don't, yeah, I don't have Trekkers or ETS 2. I'm not a big fan of the Euro Euro semis anyway. I don't know. Just, just don't go for the body style. Boys channel, welcome to the stream. There, 
yes cash there's if you look in the description uh, there should be a breakdown of the different chassis for the different trucks and then also a link to SCS blog post open that up in a new tab hopefully keep it here open that up in a new tab you can read more about the update in a extended chassis Peterbilt. Turn on the headlights. New lights. That. Three rear axles on this extended frame. Uh, Doug, the uh, the easiest thing to do is you can go into Steam and basically tell it to uh, to move your library. I don't remember how to do it, but I did that when I moved uh, my Steam library off of a spinning disk to a solid state drive. You go in somewhere and basically you you pick where you want your Steam library to be moved to, and then it just ups and moves it. Uh, right now we are in, I think we're still in California. Let's really take a look. Note we just moved into Medford, Oregon. We just moved into Oregon, literally just moved into Oregon. And then we're going to go all the way up to Vancouver. I detour around there because that is a waypoint. Well, there are different games obviously designed to emulate different different areas of the world for sure I think I think some Americans like ETS because it's it's things we don't see every day some Europeans like ATS because for the same reason it's it's stuff that they don't see every day. They see pictures of these big American rigs and they want to want to drive the big American rigs. Um, other people like ATS because, well, it is stuff we see every day. We just don't get an opportunity to drive it. And this gives us a opportunity to, uh, to pretend to be a truck driver. And I'm sure there's Europeans that want to play ETS2 for the same reason that they want to drive those big uh, European rigs. I like to play ATS because, well, it looks good. It's a very easy on the eyes game, to say the least. And it can be rather relaxing. Let's get out on the road and drive. Truckers MP, it's fun on convoys.
GPS down there. Welcome back, Raznik. What was what was Flossie making you do? You have to bake some biscuits? This particular truck is equipped with an 18 speed transmission. Not all are. Oh, you gotta make time. You gotta make time for the books. Here's a log trailer coming up. I would like to see that log trailer in SnowRunner. That's the kind of log trailer I'm used to seeing on the roads. Not that, not that SnowRunner trailer where you got the pole and then the, uh, the log forks on the sides. Um, Caddy. That's the kind of log trailer I'm used to seeing run up and down the American interstates. Pinch cool. move on you, slow you down. get away from logs We're either cutting trees and logging in farm sim We're running logs in snow runner and now we're seeing logs in ATS green light. Oh, my exit's not coming up yet. So what's where are you at in the book? Writer ready player deuce. It was my day in the office, so I got to listen to it on the way in and in to work and all and on the way home. Well, until I picked the kid up, then I had to turn it off because, well, looks got some potty words. Jennifer, what is up? Welcome to the stream. Imagine if we could have a multiplayer in environment where you have fields by the farm or by the roads 
Farm sim players could work the fields. Truck sim players could drive the highways. Well, Alex, welcome to the stream. I mean, I can only go off of what I can see, right? Now all your mom's suggested videos will be American Truck Sim or farming videos. Way to go. Way to go. I can tell you when my kid gets on my profile and starts watching videos. Suddenly my suggested videos changes drastically. Do I play Farm Sim 19? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You could say. Spurk, what is up? Where, where are you at in the book, Raz? Where are you at? Come on, Trooper. Starship Trooper. Slight detour. Oh, the first crystal. Hey, I'll give you a billion dollars, right? Here's a billion dollars if you help me find this this digital, this digital, um, help me with finding something on this digital scavenger hunt. Just a billion dollars slipped your way. Raz, it is about to get good. Plot twist. I'll tell you. Plot twist. Alex B. Truck again for all of you new to the streams. Ended brain Peterbilt. Ah, uh, the only money that's real is money that will be accepted for the goods that you wish to acquire. What you play on, I play on a computer. ATS is only available for computers. I play on a computer. PC. I mean, Bitcoin has a value because enough people have given it value. Take a look at the viewpoint at a paper mill. It's kind of ironic because we just built a paper mill in SnowRunner. see this thing let's do this oh 
Uh, cash. Maybe your maybe your system's overheating. You know what your temps look like. Are you running overclock on your graphics card? Maybe that's uh, pushing your card a little bit too much. Wasn't super exciting, but still cool. Oh, that's where everything just starts going. Caddy Wampus. Addy Wampus. <laughs> Morning from Sydney. Evening from America, Steve. How you doing tonight? David, the battle goes. We're going to find out tonight where Team Green is. Raznik is supposedly going to stream team green everyone go take and check it out here in about what 35 minutes i know i'll be taking notes planes is going to buy a bunch of odd number fields which means that he owns all the even fields spend that money spend it good can't sell the land back can't sell it back. How can you download the new update? Computer? Well, on Steam, it just downloads for you. So, if you were running the public test beta, the public beta of 1.39, you're going to have to go in and um, basically change it back to release to then get the update. If you never picked 1.39 beta, then Steam should just download it. It's, it's probably already there. Didn't even know about it. If you launch the game and you don't have the update yet, close out Steam, relaunch it, and then that should force it to check and then download the update. Somebody in the Discord, I think, was telling me it was three gigs or so. ATS typically would put a little bit more of a load on your GPU than some of the other games. So again, maybe it's maybe it's temperature. Um, when you're running the game, maybe check and see if your fans are running on the graphics card. Lots of graphics cards nowadays will they'll only turn their fans on when the card gets to a certain temperature. But it's possible that maybe the fans aren't spinning anymore and therefore it's it's overheating uh, 
Now this update did not bring any new states to the game. Uh, this brought a new lighting system, new chassis options for many of the trucks. Right here we're running a three, does it say two by two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I don't know what is that. Eight five. I don't. I don't understand the whole counting of chassis tire things. At any rate, we got the long extended chassis on our Peterbilt. But I would say that. Wyoming said it. So that's what the next state is. It's, it's something. Montana. I don't remember. I, I don't expect that state. Yeah, Wyoming. I don't expect Wyoming until summer. And you know, they talked about they talked about Texas of probably not being this year. So, Texas might be like winter 2022, meaning December, or not December, January, February, maybe March of They might surprise us. They might pound it out late in the year. X Blood Raven, how you doing tonight? Doing pretty good. Well, had to be back in ATS. Did some streams back in 1.39 or 1.4 beta came out, but really just shelved it until 1.4 was in release. It came out today, so here we are. Checking the new lighting system. Driving our new extended chassis Peterbilt. Now we're up to 14 and a half gigs of RAM usage, let alone video memory we're using. David, thanks for the super chat. Team Green for the win. What? What? I don't think so. Ah, uh, check out the cable car. Cool little cable car. Green for the win. Well, we'll just have to. Wait and see about that. Ah, uh, we must be in Portland. fine beauty of Portland. Whoa! Road's turning. Pay attention where we're going here.
So I thought, I thought, David, I thought about something earlier. I thought, what if I raised the stakes? What if I said that if Team Green wins, <laughs> uh, that's, what if, if Team Green wins, my next play series, I'll have to be forced, much as it makes me sick to my stomach. Think about it. I'll be forced to run a John Deere farm. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know. I might not be able to keep it together. I thought about that. And then I thought, you know what? I could put on my thumbnails. I'm a loser, so I have to run John Deere's. Oh, oh, that 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 might be worth it, just to have that on the thumbnail. Burn. I don't have any problem running all fence farm run an all class farm. We could be the we could be the farm of class. We could say we're classy. Oh, David. He never would know. Would never know if I was wearing a John Deere t shirt. Or you just said JD, I could wear a Jack Daniels t shirt. Say it. I'm wearing a JD t-shirt. I wouldn't have any problems with that. I just have to go get one. JC Mar Miranda, how are you doing tonight? Oh, well, you deleted your truck. Was well, your truck mod? Was your truck a modded truck? How did you delete your truck? You have a backup save game. Marlon Mc, McMickens, is that what it is? Or Martin McMickens, how you doing tonight? late. Our load is late because we accidentally slept through the night twice. say one thing I'm not a super big fan of 
is the new parking markers because they're white. I completely didn't even see them on the, uh, the first delivery. You know, they used to be like green, right? Now they're white. Uh, well, you see lots of Peterbilts, lots of Kenworth, lots of Freightliner. Uh, sadly, too many Volvos. Pretty much all the vehicles in game. See lots of Freightliners. Uh, you don't see a lot of Western Stars, at least where I'm at. You'll see them occasionally, but not a lot. See some Max. We'll see some internationals from time and time again in the East Coast. A fair bit of different Peterbilt models. Sadly, too many Volvos. A fair number of Kenworths. Oh, thanks for the sub, Duel Brothers. Sub. Let's haul some port load. Uh, we're sorted by weight. Oh, we can do this. Pressure tank. Now let's do this mooring buoy. We'll haul the mooring buoy and then be done, son. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get chat back where I can read it. Uh, Volvo is like the port of trucks. Why do they even do it? You order them to haul taters. Taters, taterific. <laughs> That's right, David. You gotta have standards, right? Guys, gotta have standards. Running red lights. Living on the edge. Oh, who was not dropped on their head as a kid? Oh, come on, get real, right? Anybody, anybody that claims they never dropped their own kid on their head when it was a kid. I got a question if they're really telling the truth. So last time I went car shopping I had three rules. One, it was gonna be a used car, so it had to be Oh, what happened? 
it was going to be a used car, so it had to be new. I called it newsed. It had to be fairly low mileage, fairly current year used car. It had to be four doors because that was back when we had a, a kid in a car seat with. Um, get over there. Kid in a car seat. And. Uh, we had to, you know, get him in and out of the back seat real easy. And it couldn't be a four. Those were the three rules. Jalen, it's not asking for trouble. It means that uh, the car I got had 5,000 miles on it, and it was uh, it was basically owned for a year. There are people that that buy cars with no intention to keep them more than 12 months. Their idea is basically get a new car every year. It's always under maintenance. You never really have any problems with it because it's always brand new. It means they're perpetually making car payments, but they don't really care. All right, Raz, drop a link to your channel in here, and uh, that way we'll send people over to watch Team Green. Team John Deere and the John Deere Case IH multiplayer challenge. Uh, so it was, it was, I think a 20, it was a model year 2014. Yeah, it was a 2014 that I, I shit you not, it was manufactured the exact day that my youngest son was born. I shit you not. His birthday is on the placard for when the car was built. Not just the day, the day. Month, day, year. So at any rate, we bought that. I bought that probably when he was, um, probably when the car was about 13 months old. Because, is this even green? Uh, because, well, through a series of unfortunate events, wife and I both totaled our cars the same month. Um, so we both were car shopping. And it was over Christmas. So I bought the car just before the end of the year in 2014. He was born in late 2013. The car had 5,000 miles on it by the original owner. Uh, they traded it in for a Subaru. I picked it up off of the uh, off of a Subaru lot. I got what I thought was a great deal on it. Still had the original tires. Um, original factory warranty and I got a hundred and like 113,000 miles on it now uh, well David it was a was a 11 year old car that had its airbags go off and at that age airbags going off instant total 
doesn't matter what kind of body damage it had or didn't have to it. Once the airbags pop, are that old, total. I mean, realistically, all that really happened, it was a, it was all my fault. I rear-ended on a cold and wet and slick road. A SUV came to a unexpected stop because the stoplight was backed up quite a bit. I hit the brakes and slid right into the back of them. So it crumpled the hood a bit. Obviously the bumpers hit enough to pop both front airbags. And yep, that's exactly it. And I already knew what was going to happen as soon as it happened because wife's car was we live we, we live in a city in a town that is on a hill on hills so i tend to say if you're not driving up a hill or down a hill you're driving straight toward a hill so her car was totaled because it was directly behind a tow truck on a fairly steep incline with a stoplight basically at the top of the hill and the tow truck rolled back onto the back of her car and continued to roll back rumpling her hood damaging her radiator mount busting her radiator and popping the airbags on it And that car was at a stop. It was just a very bad tow truck driver rolling back. Oh yeah, they increased my premiums. I mean, you total two cars and in the course of three weeks. Oh, I missed my turn. So yeah, so as I said, I want a fairly current model year, low mileage. I didn't want a car that was two years old that had 50,000 miles on it. Because when I get a car, I drive it until it falls apart. I think the wife's car was kind of about the same boat. It was it was like one model year older. I think it was a 2013, just based on uh, when it was built. Uh, I think it had maybe 15,000 miles on it. But it was owned by a family that we later discovered uh, was friends of friends of ours. And the folks that owned it, previously they had a family, and they previously had a a minivan, uh, but they got upsold to a SUV, and then after owning the SUV for about nine months, putting about fifteen thousand miles on it during those nine months. They decided that the SUV life was not for them and went back to a minivan. So we got that deal. Now 
Oh, she's got like 130,000 on hers. I got 115 on mine or so. I feel like we we're just here. Five years or 100,000 miles. I think we did pretty good getting... What is it? 2021? So we're seven or eight years to get to 100 grand. Yeah, lots of uh, lots of car plants are shutting down because of the lack of uh, computer components for the vehicles. So it's not just uh, it's not just poor gamers that can't buy graphics cards or CPUs. It's car manufacturers can't get the. Uh, can't get the components to build their in-car computer systems. So if you got to shut down a whole plant, a whole assembly line, because you, you can't get enough, you know, computerized vehicle controllers, either for your your entertainment system, your safety system, your nav system, your ignition and engine system. You're putting a lot of people out of work. People that need a car can't buy one because there isn't any out there. By then, you know, used stuff. Other businesses can't buy vehicles for their fleet trucks I mean it goes everywhere trucks are computerized just everything just starts to uh, to fall apart and the longer the shortages go then the uh, the worse it's going to get as more and more things get backlogged Shadows road and on the uh, buoys. Why are we not going? We got a green light. What? And you're just standing around having a little chat at a pothole. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, guys, what we're going to do is we are going to hand it off now to Raznak. He's getting ready to fire up his stream in just a few minutes. I think the plan is he's going to be streaming on the Team Green, the Team John Deere multiplayer server for the Team Case IH versus Team John Deere multiplayer challenge that is running for the entire month of March. So 
head on over there and check it out. Give a big heck yeah in the chat. And let them know Case IH for life. I'll see you over here, over there in just a few minutes. Find a link to his live stream right there in chat. If you don't see it, scroll up a little bit. I can't really exit the game at the moment. Uh, can do that for you. Until next time. Happy trucking.